In the Warrior of Rome novels, the figure of the Roman Emperor hovers over everything, seemingly all-powerful. His subjects wear personal allegiance to him. He's the god's vice-regent on Earth. For many of his subjects, he is a god himself. So, why did the Emperor Tiberius describe his role as being like holding a wolf by the ears? Something very, very difficult and very, very dangerous. In modern terms, the Roman Emperor had three key constituencies he had to satisfy. The Senate, the plebs and the army of Rome all wanted him to do and be completely different, contradictory things. The Senate, 600 of the richest landowners in the empire, wanted a first amongst equals, a senator amongst senators. They loved Alexander Severus. Toga-clad and dignified, he took advice only from senators. He visited them when they were ill, had them around for dinner. Conversely, they hated the Emperor Claudius. He didn't trust the senators. He took his advice from freedmen, his own ex-slaves, foreigners, men with what they saw as nasty foreign names like Narcissus. The Roman army was huge, well over 300,000 men. Roman soldiers were very different from civilians. They looked different, they sounded different, they even walked in a different way. The Roman soldiers wanted their emperor to be a soldier emperor. They loved Caracalla, he marched with them, he sat on the ground and ate porridge with them. The civilians hated this behaviour in their emperor. It was a little better than him reducing himself to the level of a barbarian. The plebs of Rome, about one million of them, were unruly, much given to rioting. They wanted their emperor to give them bread and circuses, but they wanted much more than that. They wanted him to attend the games. Not only attend, but show evident pleasure, join in with them, they loved the Emperor Claudius. He laughed and joked with them. He called them my masters. Needless to say, the Senate hated this undignified behaviour.